What's going on? Uh, what's going on, guys? This is uh, Chavez here, and uh, do a little tutorial action. Uh, we are going to do a tutorial on flared handle pins. So there isn't very much. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of information on the forums about it, and a lot of guys will point you towards the screw uh, using cutoff screws or getting the dies from USA Knife Maker. I'm just going to show you my way. So this is what a flared handle pin looks like. So it's pretty much a quarter inch stainless steel tube that has been flared out um, to give extra, um, almost like a fastener, like a Corby bolt. And uh, that's going to give you um, extra retention on your handle. Now this handle is epoxied. Um, it's obviously it's not finished yet because I feel it's important to keep the handle flat bef um, while you do the um, the tubes just in case you need to drill it out and put in a different one. That would be a little harder on a contoured handle. So what I have here, um, this is a eight and a half inch uh, chopper that I made. Obviously it's getting ready to get sanded. Um, but I'm just gonna show you my setup here for doing the flared handle pins. So this is a half ton Arbor Press from Harbor Freight. And um, what I've taken here is I have taken some dies that come with a copper tubing flare kit from Home Depot. They also sell them at Lowe's. Um, forget the company that makes them, but they're like 10 bucks. I think I got mine on sale for like seven bucks. So I, I bought two of them. As you can see, there's another die there. And I took a 5 16 stainless rod and put three spot welds around it. So the cool thing about this is that these are interchangeable with the USA Knife Maker uh, dies that USA Knife Maker sells. So this one I cannot make. So, but anyways, so here's my die um, in my Arbor Press. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some unique case lube. Um, you reloaders out there should already have some of this if you reload. Uh, rifle and just give the dies a little grease there and then, and then what we'll do is uh, make sure that they are lined up And this is your result. As you can see, the handle pin is flared, and uh, you're ready to rock and roll. Now, I do still epoxy it. Uh, the cool thing about that is, if you have an issue here, the and it doesn't flare or it cracks or you don't like the looks of it, you know, maybe it's uh, too shallow. You can you can drill this out with a quarter inch bit and. It does, you need, do need to make sure it is direct, or it is right in the center, but um, it does work. You just hammer the, the pin pack in there and then fasten it. Okay, guys? Well, I appreciate you guys watching my video. Have a good day.